Hello everyone and welcome to Instant Biology by Dr. Neera. So my this video is in continuation of the previous video in which I had discussed about the programs offered by or the courses offered by IITs and uh, these are the MTech or MS by research courses. MTech or MS by research courses. And uh, basically, I am dealing with the biotechnology and allied sciences courses, biotech or allied sciences. So you would remember that in the previous video, I have already discussed about IIT Kharagpur. IIT Kanpur, IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, and IIT Madras. So these are the IITs, these are the five premium IITs that I have already discussed in the previous video. So if you have not seen the video, you can kindly go to the playlist. I'll also add a, a link to the previous video in this uh, lecture and then you can uh, watch that particular video. For understanding or knowing about the courses that are offered by these IITs. In today's lecture, I have added next five IITs. Again, I would remind you that these IITs are not according to the uh, their uh, listing or their ranking. I'm just choosing random IITs, so do not consider this video on the basis of the ranking. That is not the case. My just sole aim in this particular video is to provide you or to cut short your effort for choosing the different courses in premium institutes like IITs. Okay, so in this uh, lecture, I'm starting with IIT Guwahati. So this, as you can see over here, this uh, is IIT Guwahati and what is the course uh, that they are offering just uh, look at this so this course is uh, comparatively new this uh, previously the department was offering mtech biotechnology so this program was running since 2008 but one more program has been added and this is mtech in bioengineering okay so now as of now there are two programs that are being offered by iit Guwahati. The first program is MTech Biotechnology. This is the normal program. This is the old program that was being offered. MTech Biotech. And the second one is MTech Bioengineering. MTech Bioengineering. So you can opt for these two programs, and again, they would take admissions to the GATE score and also the interview or the written test, whichever is considered suitable by the department. Okay, again, you can directly visit the website of the uh, department or uh, IIT uh, for getting more information about that. Okay, so this was a bit about IIT Guwahati. This is also one of the most uh, prestigious or uh, premier institutes if you're talking about biotechnology. Okay, let us move on to the next IIT. So the next IIT that I have chosen uh, chosen this for this particular video is IIT Roorkee. Okay, so this is about IIT Roorkee department. The name of the department is Department of Bioscience and Biotechnology. IIT Roorkee. What are the courses that are offered? So see, one course is MSc Biotechnology, but uh, I don't think this is uh, useful for you guys for uh, through the gate because this won't be available through the gate. This would be available through I uh, through JAM examination. However, there is another course also that you can apply for and this definitely would be available through GATE score and this is MTech Bioprocess Engineering. So this is more relevant to you MTech Bioprocess Engineering and a lot has been mentioned also that the courses would cover important topics like, like applied biology, biochemistry, microbiology, molecular biology, 
and uh, all of these things so this uh, is an important uh, course that you can apply for and one more thing i would like to add over here that uh, bioprocess engineering for the students for the students that are willing to do a job after uh, their masters they are willing to do a job then for them this particular course would be very very useful because most of the job opportunities are present in the fermentation sector or fermentation uh, this uh, industry most of the jobs are available there so if you are doing mtech bioprocess engineering then you would be well versed with this uh, field and uh, you would have a better chance to get inside this fermentation sector or industry so i would refer i would recommend this course for the students who are willing to do the job after their masters so this was from iit uh, roorkee now coming to the next iit i have chosen the the next iit in my list is iit roper okay so this is iit roper so this is one of the new iits that have been opened this iit also is offering a course and that is on biomedical engineering mtech in biomedical engineering so what is this this is comparatively a newer field than biotechnology and what does this stand for or what do you study in this biomedical engineering field so basically all the diagnostics diagnostic tools that are normally nowadays used in the medical laboratories now these are designed in or these are basically taught how you can design new tools how you can address the developing or the increasing need of new tools in the market all of this is taught over there so biomedical that means it is related to medical sciences there are develop i mean to say there are new kits that are developing each day for diagnosis of uh, different infections bacterial infections fungal or viral infections so who are developing these these are biomedical engineers only apart from there the different healthcare challenges are also uh, addressed through this uh, branch of biotechnology so this biomedical engineering is a very challenging and a new field so those of you who are interested in this healthcare sector or medical diagnostic sector uh, cancer therapy developing new therapies developing new diagnostic tools you can opt for this field and iit roper as i have said that this is comparatively a newer iit so you can check the website and get further details about this iit okay now the next iit that is in my list is iit gandhinagar okay so iit gandhinagar let, let me just name uh, let me just uh, number these so five iits i had discussed in the previous lecture this one is sixth iit roorkee is seventh iit roper eighth and now coming to iit gandhinagar this is ninth so what does gandhinagar offer so over here you can see that iit gandhinagar invites application to mtech programs in biological engineer so this is again a uh, important uh, program that you can offer uh, that you can uh, take part in so you one more thing i would like to add is that there can be different eligibility criteria in different iits so in some iits you might be able to get admissions in some of the courses which the other iits might not allow you to take in so there can be very very specific courses in which you can take admissions in which in one iit and you cannot take admission in the other iit so i'm just giving you which programs in general are open for admissions for the biotechnology and allied sciences students but you just have to be very careful for the for the eligibility criteria before you apply to these courses okay so mtech program in biological engineering so this over here also you can see that uh, there is a advertisement in which uh, the iit gandhinagar is saying to have opened applications for uh, mtech and pgd iit uh, for biological engineering and chemical engineering right so this is the course over here about uh, this is the information about iit gandhinagar so this was ninth i believe let us move on to the 10th one
now many students have asked me to make uh, uh, to provide information about the department of biotechnology iit hyderabad so this is the 10th so iit hyderabad is 10th now i want to very specifically tell about iit hyderabad that there are multiple courses that they are offering so over here you can see the first course that is being offered is in medical biotechnology mtech in medical biotechnology mtech in medical biotechnology now what what are the prerequisites so over here you can see there is a program that is a regular two year mtech program regular two year mtech program and this is being offered to the candidates who have done their btech or who have completed their msc and uh, they can be taken in through a valid gate score in bt or excel so this is clear that means both of the stream students can apply and candidates will be selected on the gate score and uh, it should be uh, they would be getting this uh, admissions through common offer acceptance portal or coap that you might that you guys might be uh, familiar with okay so iit btech graduates with cgp 8.0 or above without gate scores are eligible to apply that means even if you have not if, if you are i if you are an iit graduate and you have a cgp above 8.0 then you can you do not have your gate score then also you are eligible to apply however you would be um, admitted only on the basis of written test and or interview that would be conducted after gate score okay the students would receive a monthly scholarship of this much amount so this was a, this was about the regular mtech program now one more important thing see there is a self sponsored mtech program also self sponsored mtech program also now this over here btech and uh, msc both students are uh, eligible cgpa should be above 7.0 previously over here the cgpa was mentioned to be above 8.0 for the gate qualified students and uh, gate score is not mandatory so this is important over here gate score is not mandatory that means if you are not if you have not qualified gate then also you can apply for this course okay and uh, over here then how would the admission be taken then admission would be taken through written test or interview so this is a non subsidized program there what does this mean the student pays the tuition fee per credit basis and the candidates registered in this program are not eligible for any financial assistance ship or scholarship that means you won't be getting any scholarships any financial help you will have to pay all of your fees by your own right so i believe in my opinion the fees is also on a higher end as compared to the regular students so this was about the self sponsored course so this is important for the students who have not qualified gate or who could not qualify gate with a with a good score now there is another program also uh, uh, which is offered by this uh, iit hyderabad so this is mtech in biomedical engineering mtech in biomedical engineering remember the previous program was in biotechnology medical biotechnology but this is in biomedical engineering let us just go through quickly what are what are the uh, courses that this particular department or this particular uh, yeah department offers so let us see that the mtech biomedical engineering is a two year program this is uh, common i believe you would understand this so mtech biomedical engineering program at iit hyderabad is a two year program this you would know and it takes admissions through gate examination so this also is uh, very well known to us just uh, over here so basically there are two broad focus streams with this uh, mtech program medical sensing analytical and simulation that is med sas and uh, non nano medicine and biomaterial nbm so med sas and nbm so for the nbm you can see that these are the gate streams nbm these are the gate streams that is life sciences and biotechnology are eligible and for med sas these are the gate streams that can 
apply for this program one more thing that this uh, program is available in the self sponsored or the government lab psu sponsored mode it is available apart from this a 3 year mtech program is also available depending upon the availability of projects that means there are some projects available with iit hyderabad so at the time of your admission if the project is available you can also opt for a 3 year mtech program if you want more information about this you can directly log on to the iit hyderabad uh, this uh, website okay so this was about uh, the courses that are offered from iit hyderabad biomedical engineering and also this uh, medical biotechnology course so this was the 10th iit in our list so if you like the video just hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i would be up with uh, more uh, courses that are offered by iit in the next part of this video thank you so much have a good day